Here I have three generations of iPhones with Touch ID fingerprint sensor on their home buttons. The first one to have that is the 5S, then followed by the 6 Plus, and now the latest is the 6S Plus. Now one would expect that the performance of that sensor would improve over the years. So to see if that's true or not, I'm going to do a test by trying to press all the home buttons simultaneously and see which one unlocks first. I'm going to play, place my fingers over here and I'm going to try to press that all together now. Okay, here we go. Now, as you can see, the first one to unlock is naturally the latest one, the 6S Plus, then followed by the 6 Plus, and the last one was the 5S. Now, the interesting thing about the 6S Plus's uh, Touch ID sensor is that it's really, really quick. So what happens is that if even if I uh, touch that sensor only very briefly, it would actually activate and recognize my fingerprint and unlock the, uh, unlock the device. So what I'm going to show you here is to try to press the button and then take my fingers off quickly and see which one would actually recognize that brief moment in time. Okay, there we go again. One, two, three. Now as you can see, uh, the 5S and the 6 Plus couldn't recognize my fingerprint that quickly, but the 6S Plus did, so it's unlocked here. So, the thing is that it unlocks really so quickly that it gets a little difficult to use sometimes because I can't see the lock screen. But, well, that's the price of having a fast technology, I guess. Okay, thank you for watching.